Have you ever pondered the potential ramifications of merging AI with quantum computers? It's a notion that ignites both excitement and trepidation. Quantum computing stands as a formidable force, boasting the capability to solve intricate problems at a pace far surpassing traditional computers. Yet, amidst this promise lies a caveat. Renowned physicist Michio Koku has unearthed a disconcerting revelation, one that portends the potential annihilation of humanity. Join us on a journey delving into the realms of quantum computing and AI, exploring their groundbreaking potential and heeding the dire warning from Koku. Quantum computers represent a paradigm shift in computing, operating on the tenets of quantum mechanics. In contrast to classical computers reliant on bits, quantum computers utilize qubits, quantum bits, endowed with the remarkable property of superposition. Unlike classical bits confined to singular states of zero or one, qubits exist in a state of simultaneous multiplicity, embodying both zero and one concurrently. This leap in computational fundamentals offers unprecedented possibilities, empowering quantum computers to tackle challenges that elude modern computational limitations. The prowess of quantum computing resides in its capacity for parallel computation, traversing myriad states and probabilities simultaneously. This parallelism promises expedited solutions to complex problems, far outstripping the computational prowess of classical counterparts. Yet, the integration of quantum systems into our computational landscape is not devoid of debate. While quantum computers herald a revolutionary leap akin to historical advances in classical computing, the fundamental difference lies in the unit of computation. Qubits supersede classical bits, heralding a chasm in computational supremacy between quantum and conventional systems. The genesis of quantum computing traces back to the visionary insights of physicist Richard Feynman in the early 1980s. Feynman envisioned a computational paradigm transcending classical limitations, harnessing the enigmatic properties of quantum mechanics. However, it wasn't until the 1990s that quantum computing witnessed seminal breakthroughs. In 1994, mathematician Peter Scheer unveiled an algorithm with transformative implications for quantum computation. Scheer's algorithm, celebrated for its prowess in factoring large numbers, unshackled quantum computers from the fetters of classical limitations. This algorithmic breakthrough catapulted quantum computing into the spotlight, sparking a fervent pursuit of practical quantum implementations. Innovative approaches, ranging from manipulating individual atoms to exploiting nuclear magnetic resonance, underscored the ingenuity driving quantum research. Milestones, such as IBM's demonstration of quantum computing in 2001, underscored the feasibility of quantum computation. These triumphs spurred a renaissance in quantum research, galvanizing concerted efforts to realize the transformative potential of quantum computing. The trajectory of quantum computing witnessed a watershed moment in 2013, marked by Google and NASA's collaboration in creating the D-Wave 2 quantum computer. However, bureaucratic impediments, exemplified by a government shutdown, underscored the regulatory hurdles impeding quantum progress. Nonetheless, subsequent achievements, epitomized by Google's quantum supremacy milestone in 2019 and IBM's commercial quantum computer in 2020, signify quantum computing's inexorable march towards mainstream adoption. Yet, amidst these triumphs lie profound ethical quandaries. The fusion of quantum computing with AI holds the promise of revolutionizing computational paradigms. However, physicist Michio Koku's admonition resonates, cautioning against the perils of AI's unfettered integration with quantum systems. AI, while remarkable in its capacity to simulate human intelligence, remains susceptible to inherent limitations. The inability to discern between factual accuracy and misinformation underscores the ethical imperative of responsible AI integration. Moreover, quantum computing's disruptive potential extends beyond computational realms, permeating the fabric of encryption and privacy paradigms. Shear's algorithm, hailed for its efficacy in factoring large numbers, threatens the sanctity of cryptographic protocols underpinning digital security. The specter of quantum-enabled breaches looms large, necessitating proactive measures to fortify cryptographic infrastructures against quantum threats. As quantum computing matures, the imperative of ethical governance assumes paramount importance. Responsible stewardship demands a judicious balance between technological innovation and ethical imperatives, safeguarding against unintended consequences. The convergence of quantum computing and AI mandates rigorous scrutiny, 
fostering an ecosystem conducive to ethical AI integration. By navigating the ethical labyrinth with circumspection, we can harness the transformative potential of quantum computing while mitigating inherent risks. In the annals of technological evolution, quantum computing stands as a testament to humanity's indomitable spirit of innovation. Yet, amidst the allure of quantum supremacy lies an ethical crucible demanding conscientious stewardship. The fusion of quantum computing with AI holds the promise of unparalleled computational prowess. However, this promise must be tempered by ethical imperatives, ensuring that the march towards quantum empowerment remains guided by principles of responsible innovation. As we navigate the uncharted waters of quantum computing, let us heed the cautionary tale woven by Michio Koku, embracing the transformative potential of quantum computing while safeguarding against its unintended consequences. Have you ever wondered what could happen if we combine AI and quantum computers? It's both exciting and scary. Quantum computers are incredibly powerful and can solve complex problems much faster than regular computers. But there's a catch. Renowned physicist Michio Koku has discovered something terrifying, and it could lead to the extinction of humanity. Join us as we explore the world of quantum computers and AI, their revolutionary potential, and the shocking warning from Michio Koku. Quantum computers are exceptional computers. That revolutionize computing by operating on the principles of quantum mechanics. Unlike classical computers that use bits to store and process information, quantum computers utilize quantum bits, which are commonly called qubits. While classical bits can only be in two states, zero or one, qubits possess the incredible ability of superposition. This means that a qubit can exist in multiple states simultaneously, representing both zero and one at the same time. This is not just a little advancement in the basis of computation, we are talking about a large leap that provides possibilities for solving highly complex problems that our modern computers are limited to. The power of quantum computers lies in their capacity for parallel computation. By exploring different states and possibilities simultaneously, they can potentially solve specific problems much faster than classical computers. Undoubtedly, there is a widespread debate about the use of this revolutionary system. At first, you could liken it to the regular developments we are making on classical computers, increasing the processing power of a single chip. But the argument here is quite different, the improvement comes from the basic unit of computing. Quantum bits outperform classical bits, and this leads to the wide gap between the processing power of quantum computers and conventional computer systems. Now, let us walk through the history of this invention. Quantum computers have a rich history dating back to the early 1980s when physicist Richard Feynman introduced the revolutionary concept of quantum computation. Feynman envisioned a new kind of computer that could leverage the principles of quantum mechanics to tackle complex problems beyond the capabilities of classical machines. However, it wasn't until the 1990s that significant breakthroughs in this field began to emerge. Back in 1994, a mathematician named Peter Scheer, working at Bell Labs, unveiled an algorithm that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. This algorithm was a game-changer for quantum computers because it had an incredible ability to efficiently factor large numbers. Now, you might be wondering why factoring numbers is such a big deal. Well, it turns out that factoring plays a crucial role in many encryption methods used to protect sensitive information in our digital world today. Shear's algorithm opened up a whole new realm of possibilities and sparked both excitement and concerns among scientists. It showed how powerful quantum computers could be in breaking the encryption systems we rely on. So, throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, researchers rolled up their sleeves and started exploring different ways to build practical quantum computers. One of the most promising approaches involved tinkering with individual atoms or ions to act as qubits, which are the building blocks of quantum computers and other fundamental units of information in quantum computing. In 2001, a group of scientists at IBM achieved a major breakthrough. They successfully demonstrated the concept of quantum computing by using nuclear magnetic resonance to control qubits. Think of it as an eureka moment in the world of science. This achievement showed that quantum computation was not just a wild idea but something that could actually work. It lit a fire under researchers, pushing them to progress even more. As time went on, scientists made incredible strides in developing stronger and more reliable qubit systems. 
they explore different types of qubits, like superconducting circuits and trapped ions.